Hey there, today I want to show you how to create your own custom shortcuts. One of the cool things about Logic is it lets you create your own. You don't have to just make do with what the software manufacturer creates. So let's get going. Uh, go up to Logic Pro, Preferences, and down at the very bottom, Key Commands. It shows us you can also hit Option K. It'll open up this window. Uh, I entered the word Marker because I want to do custom key commands for markers. So first I want to create marker shortcut. The default involves modifiers and I was always forgetting it and stuff. So I'm going to hit the plus button as in please add a marker. Uh, it's going to show as equals. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to hit learn by key label. Then I'll hit the plus. It shares that button with the equal sign. For go to number one, I'm going to hit the number one on my alphanumeric keyboard here. Then number two, two, number three, is my number three key, etc., etc. So then as my song plays, I can hit plus. It's going to enter a marker. Just a couple more. So there's my markers. I just by hitting my plus button, then I can hit the number one on my alphanumeric keyboard, and I, I can go right to the marker that I want. You can customize the names of them by going Options, Marker, Marker List. Looks like it's Option M. You can double click on that, name it Verse 1, name it Course, whatever you want, but I prefer to leave it this way because I know what number to hit on my number pad. Uh, finally, after you create these shortcuts, in, under Preferences, Key Commands, you can save your customized presets so you can export key commands that way if you're on another computer with logic you can import your own key commands and uh, you're good to go just keep this in your gmail docs or something like that it's a very small file and you can always revert back to saved with this options presets and choose the preset that uh, you desire and it'll go right back to the way the factory had it all right well i hope this is helpful information and we'll see you next time